Hi everyone, this is Tom with Good Sounds, and today we're going to introduce you to Palladium. Palladium is another program created by CH Sound Design and works in conjunction with MicPlot to offer sound technicians in the theatrical world an easy and efficient way to control their mixer for theatrical productions. Hopefully you've already seen our videos describing MicPlot and the powerful tools it provides in creating a detailed MicPlot and cue list that can be incredibly beneficial for managing theatrical productions. Now we want to provide you with some insight into Palladium and what it can do for you in controlling your mixer. Today's video will provide a basic overview of Palladium, showing you some of the different features and functions of the program. For the purposes of today's video, we'll be using version 5.1e, which is available for download at goodsounddesign.com. When we open Palladium, we will immediately see three windows on our main screen. These windows will open by default when Palladium is launched. We have the Mixer window, the Channel window, and the Cue List window. These windows can be arranged in any configuration or position on the screen that suits your liking. By right-clicking on the top frame of the window, you will have the option of orienting that window to the front or to the back of other windows. You can also grab the bottom corner of the window and resize it to fit to your needs. At the bottom of the main screen, you will also see the navigation buttons that will control cue advancements as well as crossfades and emergency stops. Looking at the mixer window, we will see some of the information that is available to us. In demo mode, we have a limited amount of information showing. You will, however, see far more information and control options once a show is loaded and the mixer setup file is in place. But for now, you can see the channel number at the top of the channel strip, the channel fader, the scribble strip, and the mute button. Resizing the window allows more channels to be seen at one time. With your cursor over the channel, scrolling the mouse wheel will allow you to scroll through more channels on your mixer. You will also see the setup button which will open the mixer setup window, where you will load the mixer setup file for the particular mixer that you're using. The channel window shows you specific information about the channel that is highlighted in the mixer window. Here you can adjust certain parameters of the channel, like EQ, and get a larger view than what is possible in the mixer window. The cue list window is a comprehensive list of all the cues that you have created for your show, probably done in mic plot. The purple box surrounds the cue that is currently active. Looking at the menu bar, we have the file menu. Here you can choose to create a new show file, open an existing file, and save your current work. You can also choose to import a show from mic plot. Here you have the option of importing the entire mic plot show file or just the characters and cast members from that file. You can also export your Palladium file to moves. One reason for doing this might be to give the file to the director who can make adjustments during rehearsal to the cues you have already created. Moving on, we have the mode menu. This lets you choose between simple and advanced modes. Advanced mode gives you access to a few more functions of Palladium, like learn mode. You can also choose between rehearsal and performance modes. Performance mode restricts access to certain features during a performance that could prove fatal to your operation. The show menu provides access to the players window, where you can edit any information relating to the characters, cast members, and understudies. You also have a window titled Others that allows you to add labels for miscellaneous channels that you might not have included in your mic plot file. For instance, you can add a label for sound effects. Now if you go to the mixer window on your screen and click on the scribble strip for channel 27, you'll be able to choose your sound effects label for that channel. It's a very helpful tool for adding additional channels and labels for Palladium to control on your mixer. The show menu also includes the selection for the remote control window. This is where you would input the remote control file that will allow your user to find buttons on your mixer to control certain functions of Palladium, like navigating cues. And finally, you can select the General Options window to adjust some other features like Lockout Timer and Trim Mode. The Edit menu allows you to choose between several options for EQ settings as well as Trim settings. The MIDI window will allow you to assign the proper settings to your MIDI ports and allow you to monitor data between your computer and your MIDI-controlled mixer. Likewise, the OSC window will allow you to assign the proper settings to your port and monitor data between your computer and your OSC mixer. In the Windows menu, you have the option of deciding which windows you would like to have visible on your main screen. 
In addition to the mixer window, you can choose whether or not to have an effects window, a playback window, and a current cue window visible on your screen. You can also choose to cascade these windows if you like. Hopefully this gives you the basic overview of Palladium's layout and some of the features that are available in this version. Please join us next time when we show you how to import a mic plot file into Palladium. Thanks so much for your time. Please check us out on Facebook and Twitter and at goodsounddesign.com. And remember, if it can't be heard, it can't be good.